This video is a variant of the famous fuzzy dice problems from physics courses. And I already did one of these videos with a linear acceleration. And we used the tilt of the fuzzy dice to figure out the acceleration of the car. I'll post a link to that real quick. In this video, we're doing it with a centripetal acceleration instead. And so this car is rounding a corner of radius 50 meters. Hopefully this meshes with your physical intuition that something hanging from the rear view mirror would then tilt away from the center of curvature. And ultimately what we're doing in this problem is trying to use that tilt angle as a spinometer to conclude how fast the car must be going around the corner. Part A asks us for a free body diagram for the dice. So I'm going to get in a set of axes real quick. And my mass of 100 grams is right there in the middle. And I need to diagram all the forces that are acting on it. So there's a tricky angle issue here. I'm going to put some axes right on my dice in the actual picture of the dice. And I see that if this angle is 30, that's an angle with respect to the vertical, then this angle is 30. So I have the tension in that string pulling it 30 degrees from the vertical. So that's what it looks like in the free body diagram. And then, of course, gravity is pulling straight down with a force of mg. And then I have my little mass m, which I know is 100 grams, but I'll just leave it symbolic in the diagram. Part B asks us to get the tension in the string. And the easiest way to do this is with a vertical analysis. So it's the vertical component of that tension T that's holding us up against gravity. And there is no vertical acceleration. It's just a balance of the vertical forces. So if I want to be somewhat formal about it, the sum of all the forces in the y direction must be equal to zero. Otherwise, there would be a y acceleration, but there isn't. And that means all the upward stuff has to balance the downward stuff. So I can write it like this. Upward forces better sum to the same number as downward forces. And then I can plug in and say, okay, my upward force is T cosine 30. My downward force on the fuzzy dice is mg. So I can quickly find the tension here. It's mg over cosine 30 degrees. And we'll plug some numbers in. That's 0.1 kilograms for the mass, 9.8 meters per second squared, the acceleration of gravity, and the cosine of 30 degrees in the denominator. And my tension comes out to 1.13 newtons. Next, I want to get the speed of the car. And it should come as no surprise that that has something to do with the horizontal analysis here. So what's going on in the x direction? There actually is an acceleration. So if I go back to my original diagram, the acceleration points to the center of curvature. What does that look like from the rear view? So I'm behind the car. That is perfectly to the left, which means in this free body diagram, I'm expecting to get an acceleration to the left. And I'm going to call that the positive direction. And then I have to ask what force could possibly be responsible for that. And it looks like that tension has a horizontal component pointing to the left. That's the only thing pointing horizontally. So that's what causes the horizontal acceleration. And then, of course, that acceleration is related to V. It's V squared over R. So that looks promising for getting the speed of the car. So I have the sum of all the forces in the x direction equals M A C. I then plug in my x forces. That's just Tx which is given by t sine 30. And then my centripetal acceleration is related to the speed by v squared over r. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in what the tension is. We figured it out symbolically back here based on what was required to hold up the fuzzy dice against gravity. So I can plug in mg over cosine 30 times sine 30 equals mv squared over r and a nice thing happens here the mass cancels out so no matter what the mass of the fuzzy dice is they're going to hang at the same angle okay let's turn sine 30 over cosine 30 into tangent 30 and at the same time i'm going to multiply both sides by r so i have v squared equals gr tangent 30 and finally we'll take the square root and when i plug in there we get 9.8 radius of curvature for the turn was 50 meters tangent of 30 degrees and that comes out to 16.8 meters per second. So that's kind of a cool idea. We can actually use the tilt of the fuzzy dice on the rearview mirror to figure out how fast our car is going.
If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.